So this is our spoiler-free uh, review of Avengers Infinity They War. all die. <laughs> There's definitely going to be a spoiler section, because this is kind of one of the movies it was made for. And uh, before we start, I gotta make it very clear where, how much we know about the uh, Infinity War and the Infinity Gauntlet. I don't know jack shit. Uh, I read X-Men and Batman and some other Marvel comics, but uh, I didn't read... He, on the other hand... I'm gonna show you this, because this has actually been in here the whole time. He and his friends, when they were kids, they actually made this picture of the Infinity War, and each of them took a part. So that the left part, somebody took that, the center, you know, somebody took that, and the right part, one of them took that, that, that was three of them that, that drew it, and it was actually framed there the whole time. And I bet a lot of you never even knew that was there, so... Rob uh, knows about this. this is, at least back when he uh, uh, when he read it. As yeah, a kid. let's let's put me on the spot. Um, <laughs> yeah. By okay, by know about. Let's just say yes, I read it in 1993. <laughs> I, read I it have since. not. I have not looked at it since uh, then. Uh, honestly, um, I, I just I, I like. I read it the same time I drew that picture. Like that. That's <laughs> and I. I, yeah, I want to show I, that off because I always think that's a cool thing that you have framed and up there and stuff like that. Like, well, I, I see it all the time, but nobody else ever it. My sees friend, it. My friend Dan's the one who framed it and but, then but, but gave it and then gave it. it to me. Yeah, gave it to me. He's got this plan to basically pass it around. He's like, everybody gets it for 10 years. And so <laughs> I, apparently in a few, like, I don't know, I think three or four years, whenever my time's up, I have to give it to my other friend Steve. <laughs> so it's the three of us it's who just, drew it. But anyway, up. But anyway it's, it, yeah, it's a cool so, thing. But anyway, um, you, you don't care about that. You want yeah, to know so, uh, the, the, the thoughts on it. I'm just going to say, if I get something wrong about <laughs> the Infinity shot. Gauntlet, <laughs> the Infinity War, Infinity Crusade or something, I haven't read the damn thing since the early 90s, so just... Just but, know that going in. But, like, but you have more of a frame of reference than me. I, I have only more of a, I have more of a frame of reference. I am than you. only going yes. off of the so movies. You are going in blind. He at least read it a long, long time ago. He has yeah. some frame of reference. Uh, with that said, I fucking loved this movie. <laughs> I did too. I this is like. Uh, Top I five, like, maybe top three I don't, Marvel movies. Okay, for me. I, I, I really like Civil War. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's top five, but I will say this: I liked it better than Avengers and Avengers: Age of Ultron, which <laughs> yeah. everybody goes, Avengers. It's my favorite. It's the greatest comic movie ever. That never cracked the top five for me. Never did. No, um, and, and I, I don't hate like it. It's Aven a good movie. It's a but. fun movie. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's a very impressive movie. Uh, this feels like, and again, most people probably know that this is part one. Of that. I mean, all these movies are continuing. This very clearly is a part one. Uh, there's going to be another one. <laughs> Although it would be amazing. Well, I know we're going to have to get. We're going to have to get to that. Well, well we get to that spoiler corner, but um, um, yeah, I felt like this is just a straight up comic book movie. All these characters are established. Every time it cuts to somebody else, it's a person I like. I was saying I can't think of one character in this movie I dislike, no, except only... Pepper Potts, and she's in it for a minute. <laughs> I like Pepper Potts. I, I, I don't mind there's her, nobody, but... There's you... nobody I dislike. There are, as I was telling you at the end when we were talking during the credits, there are some characters where it's just like, oh yeah, they exist. Not because I hate their characters, but because there's this movie is there's so a lot to fit jam in. full of characters that's like Black Widow shows up, and it's literally just like... I'm here. I'm gonna fight some people. There you go. I think she had like four lines in the e whole movie. Even Black like, Panther has like five lines. Yeah, um, and he doesn't have. And he's like coming off of a huge. I think that's still showing actually as we're doing this review that there's two Marvel movies out. Uh, Black Panther. I will say like there's War. there's been like some discussion. Did Disney not realize that Black Panther was gonna be this huge? And should there have been more kind of in this movie considering what I hit it? And I, the whole like last chunk of this is in Wakanda. Yeah. Like, I mean, you, you could have been like, okay, we could have got a little more Black Panther or some of the characters. But <laughs> There's about I, as much Black Panther in this movie as in Black Panther, in my opinion. That was one of my problems <laughs> with the film. Um, but, um, but, yeah, no, I, there's there's a lot of Wakanda in this. Um, yeah. Uh, it, honestly, it, I kind of was like, the second they went to Wakanda, I was like, yes! I, I'll say that, I mean, like... <sighs> How do I put it? I feel like people that would dislike this movie would probably say it jumps around a lot, which it does. And there's not... It's mostly like, well, now we gotta do this because this thing is happening, this thing is happening, okay, and then a little character, and then now we gotta do this because this thing is happening, this thing is happening. But again, I feel like 
people know that going in. It's still these characters you like. They're still explaining it in their unique way. We're seeing how they interact off each other. Uh, and nothing... I, I kind of want a movie where it feels like that's happening with this because in something like The First Avengers, I can't remember. It's cool seeing them together, but they're kind of just not doing much for like the first half of the movie and this, this one just movie, immediately it gets going and this, it's throwing shit at you. <clears throat> this movie is big and this movie is dumb and that's exactly what it needed to be. I don't like I, I it's don't, not just big. It feels epic. Yeah, I mean it feels it's, like it feels epic big, movie. epic, but it, but it's also a, it's also a comic book movie. It's got yeah. that kind of dumb fun quality and I'm just like. And I, you know, these are the same guys who did, uh, you know, Winter Soldier and Civil War, and I felt like Winter Soldier is what it needed to be. I feel like this maybe is a little closer to something like Civil War, where it's just like, we can get insanely dark, but then, hey, look, Spider-Man's here, and it's yeah. all goofy! Like, and... I don't have a problem with that, because I think what Marvel does that I like is, and particularly they showed it with Black Panther... You get enough of a variety. I know some people are like, oh, Marvel's always goofy. It's just like, but no, there's there's ups and downs. And, you know, for every Black Panther, you can have a movie like... Like an Ant-Man or something. Yeah, or you can have a movie like this, which I think is just that perfect, like, kind of mix of dark and good. Honestly, I honestly think it worked better here than it did even in Civil War. Because Civil War was so much of, like, kind of a spy thriller Pretty thing to me. Heavy, and then yeah. And then just, like, this... 30 minute goofy battle at an airport. Whereas this, this one, I felt like it starts off a little goofy, but it it segues into some dark territory, maintains this kind of tone where it's like, you're with these characters because they have a sense of humor and they seem like decent people, but but that's why it hurts when you see them hurt. Yeah, um, it, it really does. I think it honestly, I honestly probably enjoyed it better in this movie than in like Civil War. Um, I, so. I, I I compare it, like my, my top faves, uh, like I, I, I love Civil War, I love Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I, I think this is yeah. very close to it in that it has a lot of laughs, but it's, it's got a lot of weight to it as well. And a lot um, of it is in the Guardians... I mean, it's all the Marvel universe, but within that universe, you got these kind of subset universes. A lot of this seems set in the Guardians universe, mm. which I love. That's my favorite <laughs> yeah. part of the Marvel universe, at least in the films, is the Guardians universe. So the fact that so much of it takes place kind of in that realm, like, just, I'm totally on board. Well, and kind of what you said, that there's no way they're going to get everybody equal no. screen time and not everyone is gonna have an arc or a big story going on and stuff like that but I mean again there is something so nice and so cool about seeing a giant movie where all the people all the characters you see not only do you recognize but you like them and you don't want to see yeah. bad things happen to them when something does you feel bad and well, the audience feels bad and, and when I somebody from the past shows up that maybe mm -hmm. haven't seen in a while or didn't think would ever show up again, like, it gets a big reaction from the audience. I think what makes the movie work, and this is where DC, DC, WB, I, I, we gotta blame, put blame, I, I keep saying DC, Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. I think this is where Warner Brothers blew it, is, uh, this, as I said, the, the movie's, like, big and dumb. It, it's it, There's some cool stuff with Thanos, and there's some, you know... Heartfelt emotional stuff, but you know, we're not talking necessarily high art here. It is totally a comic book. Yeah, it's movie. totally it is an epic comic, comic book, book movie. movie, and it doesn't lose track of that. And the plot you could say is just almost just kind of razor thin of just like do this, do that, just running around and doing things. He's like, we need to get the blobbly belief to do this. And he's like, well, we'll stop Thanos by doing this. Ah, oh, he's got this gem that can do mm. this. And it's all like that. But what makes it work is that Marvel spends so much time. 10 years now building up right yeah all of crazy? these characters and even if there's characters you don't like or even some of the films i don't like you know like i still can't remember iron man 2 what the hell happened <laughs> there is mickey work with whips and parrots or something like we've spent so much time building up those characters that you can afford to throw them in something that just is really just like hey let's watch our favorite characters get together fight and save the universe and it's not really a deep, a really super deep story or complicated story, but it, and you would argue that's like, well, where's all the character? Because it's just them punching people. It's like the character's already there. You don't need yeah, to fill like it's the blanks have all been filled in with ten years of film. So I can go into this, and I just was totally just like laughing and having a blast and like getting goosebumps. You know, when Spider Man shows up or when you know Iron Man shows up and they're all working together and doing these things. 
and the because cool new of the gizmos they have. Yeah, well, and, and here's the thing, um, too. I, I'd argue that there are there is still character and, and depth and dramatic moments, but again, it works like a comic. Yeah. It works but, where you've established these people, like, okay, example, Avengers 2. Uh, the scene everyone pretty much liked well, was the scene in the cabin. Now, that's mm. like a movie. It's people coming together, yeah. they talk, they're discussing their feelings. Stuff like that does happen in comics, but not much. Not like the Marvel comics and the superhero comics. All the stuff that happens in here, I can see on a panel. I can see these coming yeah. out word bubbles. They're but it's the same emo But it's the same emotions yeah. you have in the comics because yeah. it's years and years of these but characters not, being yeah. established. But it's it's not some gritty independent film like we're no. talking about their emotions for an what? hour around the dinner table. One, one or two, one or two scenes. No, there's a couple, bit, but not no. much. Yeah, there are a couple scenes <clears> like that. But I'm saying like so much of it is just people punching each other, and I'm okay. Like I'm okay with that because. I know who these characters are. I don't, we don't need, like, if you went into this without seeing those films, I think you would, uh, I wouldn't recommend it, really. <gasps> no. I think you would just, <laughs> you I, have to know the movies. Yeah, you, I think people You know have that. to know at least some of the big characters. And, and that's the thing. Like, I think if you don't know these characters, you would watch this movie like, and I think there's a couple critics who have, and we may know them even, but who are just like, I don't get it. It's a bunch of people just punching each other. Like, and this plot makes no sense. And it's just like, but you don't like need it if you've seen the, the previous 10 films. It's kind of like watching Return of the King without seeing the other two films. I'm like, it's not going to have the same impact or make it much yeah. sense if you didn't follow it. Uh, but, and but, but they know that and they rely And that's that. the difference, I think, with, with the WB films is that they didn't do that. Um, they, they had like two films before, they two or three yeah. films before they got to their and big then they epic. got to Justice League and it just felt rushed hastily assembled pushed out I mean there were other problems too obviously with the director having to leave and then they brought in Joss Whedon but it it just never worked because you didn't have that firmly <laughs> established connection you did maybe with Wonder Woman but that's one mm -hmm. but you know Flash, Aquaman, all these other ones that you have in there, and it's just like, that's what Marvel did, and that's what makes it so brilliant. Um, the I, I don't know, really, if we're ever going to even see that again, like, because it's just such a huge investment for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, um, well, I mean, obviously, we see other studios trying to do it, but I mean, it, the closest we've gotten is probably DC, which is not doing it that well. And, yeah, you're right. This is probably the only one to pull it off. And it is still mind-blowing how well they're pulling this off. Even though not every movie is great or phenomenal or everything, it's wow. still... The, the, their checklist is just incredible. Like, unprecedented. You've never seen a checklist of so many good movies that have been connected and all add up to something. And it kind of gets bigger and bigger. And it's just... It, it's amazing uh, how they're doing this. And I feel like it... it Builds up to something really good. You know, again, this is only a part one, so we'll see how part two does as well. But for a part one, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, but I think I think that's an important <clears throat> point because I know that I've, some people we've talked to are literally just like, oh, it just reminded me of Justice League. A bunch of people punching each other. I didn't follow the plot. I didn't care. But, I, but I'm I like, no. It, I thought it was heavier than that. But that's heavier. the thing, though. That That is the difference. You know, that Marvel basically spent their time building up these characters yeah, doing I, that. I don't know Aquaman. I don't know Flash. I, I don't know Cyborg, and then, you know. I mean, And I'm just saying, once again, it's just a shame. Because I think a lot of DC characters are great. And I think basically the studio over there gave them the fucking shaft. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't even try. Maybe they should just focus on doing individual... Honestly, they should just focus on doing the individual films and then... At some point, if they're just like, all right, we know these characters enough, now let's try it. But instead, mm -hmm. they went backwards. They're like, we've got to have the team movie. When? Yesterday. Like, no, I, I think that's, that's part of the I problem. Think they, I think they think mm. this is a long-lasting fad. And in some respects, it is. But I don't think even they predicted how long it was going to go. I think they thought maybe five, six years. We're on year 10, and it is still going ridiculously strong. So I think they felt they had to rush it out. Uh, you know, really get them out there before this fad dies down, but it's only getting bigger and bigger because the movies are getting bigger and bigger, and they're adding more yeah. and more different steps to it. Whatever the reason, it, it just bothers me, because I see this and I'm just like, well, there you go. And yet it's still like, you would look at it and almost be like, well, it's kind of half the same stuff they do in something like Justice League, but it's like all that buildup was but the I know payoff. these people, yeah. Exactly. They, they've and all I'm had just, movies, and they've all had and you know, I'm just a long like, time Well, they them. did it, and then meanwhile over here, because I like Wonder Woman and, and Batman and Superman as characters, I'm just like, fuck! 
back. Like, I want them to do it. Like, I want them to push out even, a good product. It, even some characters I didn't care that much about. I found my, you know, like in the other films, I found mm. myself caring much more for them in this one. I cared a lot more for uh, Gamora. I cared. Uh, Thanos, good Christ. That was the biggest surprise. So much better I than any Thanos, of the other movies. I thought Thanos... Based on the trailers I saw, was gonna suck. See, no, as soon as I, as soon as I saw it was Josh Brolin, even under the CG, which is very good by the way, uh, I was like, no, I, I have yeah, not the seen a bad. Pretty solid, I have um, not seen a bad performance from that dude um, yet, and I. Well, feel, I'm not saying that it was gonna be a bad performance, but I was worried. No, that but he brings so much to everything. The, and it, he it just was, no. made this guy. Watching the trailer, there was something about the trailer. And I don't know if they improve the effects or just play better on the big screen, but there was something about the trailer where. Thanos looked really fake. He didn't look that intimidating mm. to me. All the shots they picked in the trailer for some reason rubbed me the wrong way. See that, that was, like that literally was me all the other movies. Yeah, literally like uh, like two minutes into this when he shows up, I was like, oh crap, maybe I was wrong. And almost every scene he is in, he freaking owns he it. Owns every scene. Your um, eyes are on him the whole time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, again, you know, we, we complain about. CG, well, for example, like in Justice League, that CG monstrosity villain that was, you know, that was Thanos done completely Oh, I Thanos thought you were going to talk about wrong. Mr. Potato Head Superman. Uh, well, that too. And his amazing <laughs> disappearing mustache. <laughs> and his amazing upper lip. Buckets are falling for everyone. Um, but that, the CG they do on him here, you know, it doesn't always look convincing, but mm -hmm. the performance comes through, and... A lot of time it does look very good. Uh, for a purple dude walking around, uh, you know, supposed to be double the size of everybody. Uh, and they bring through the performance. I, I think that's the biggest thing. And Josh Brolin is such a presence. And uh, I, he, I, he, he sold it like well, in a they, way that I thought, because in the comics, I, I just took it for granted. I'm like, yeah, giant purple guy with a prune face. Like, you know, it... And, like, he was intimidating in the comics, and I thought he was super cool, but, yeah, was when I started to see him popping up in the films and then the trailer, I'm just like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this seriously. Maybe this only works on a comic book panel. Um, they did something but, but that they, was... But they, they, they sold it. They did something that it. was so clever that at first I thought was, you know, for a couple seconds I thought, oh, this isn't going to work, and then it won me over so quickly. Uh, in all the other movies, even though I know Brolin didn't, didn't play him, uh, when, when he's there, it was, he's like, oh, he was a big giant man. He sounds exactly like you would think a character mm -hmm. like that would sound. And when they do it, it's only his voice. I don't think they add a bass or a triple or an echo or anything. And it just instantly gives humanity to this character. To a character that, honestly, I'm still not 100% what his motivation is. Uh, but, but, but... I can tell you it's even more... It, it's... <laughs> It's weirder even in the comic, I can tell you, because they eliminated, they took out a ton of stuff. But but you, you know what he reminds me of? Uh, he reminds me of Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. That's the dumbest motivation for a villain, but by God, she is well, so charming and so elegant and just so interesting that, and the performance is so great that you buy it and you go along with it. And it's the same thing here. It's like, okay, something about you have to wipe out half of humanity in order to gain control and keep it going. You have, something you have like no that. idea. Like his whole arc is because there's like the infinite... <sighs> So basically, they call this one the Infinity War, but it's really more like the Infinity Gauntlet, because he's putting the gauntlet together still. Um, and then the Infinity War was a sequel. I think there was like, it was an Infinity Crusade, maybe. Um, but his arc through that, like, I'll tell you sometime. Like, it's just. But like a traditional comic book, just goes. Well, down, yeah, know? it's. You'd be watching it based, a lot. On, based on where you started thinking of this guy, basically, as a, uh, the, the, the supervillain or whatever. By the end of it, you're like, what? Like it's so. I'm very curious where they're going with all of this in this series because it's it's way way different from what I remember. We're missing like, well, we're missing the main character. Um, Warlock isn't here, and then there is a character that basically Thanos was trying to. How the hell would you put it? Impress court? I don't know, but there was like the the Mistress of Death or something. Um, so there's that character, and that character's missing, and there's also... Th this is definitely, like, it's more, like, loosely based on the Infinity Gauntlet. Well, like, some things we know they can't do. They can't do the Fantastic Four. They can't they bring can't Silver... Yeah, and Silver, Silver Surfer, Surfer had a huge role in the original. Yeah. Um, 
So, but I'm very interested, particularly with the way this movie ends and where they're going with it, what they're going to do. Because I'm like, some of this just seems like uncharted territory for me. I'm just like, I don't remember any of this in the Infinity Gauntlet uh, saga or whatever. So, and is the next one then like, is this all just going to be Infinity Gauntlet based? Are we going to somehow get around to the Infinity War or Infinity Crusade? Are we going to ever have Warlock or or Magus Magus, whatever his name is, or like bring in the goddess and hmm. I don't know. It's like can this thing just go on forever? They're gonna do are we is that what we're gonna do? Have the Infinity War, Infinity Crusade another ten years from now? Or like mm -hmm. so I don't know. It's it's kind of just fascinating because I'm just like having read the comics, I'm just like, wow, that this is all way different. Like I recognize it as like based on a story from mm -hmm. Infinity Gauntlet, but I'm I'm very curious where the hell they're going, because I don't know. <laughs> you know, of all the Marvel villains, uh, again, I could probably count on one hand how many I, like, legitimately really found interesting and intriguing. Uh, and it, Thanos, again, kind of has oh, that... Thanos. No, no, I, I was saying Thanos, again, kind of has Goblet, that... I always like, too. Well, no, 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 I'm talking about just in the movies. Oh, in the movies. No, no, oh, the comics gotcha. are great. Comics oh, are great okay. villains. Uh, uh, but in yeah. the movies, I'm thinking, like, <laughs> the Vulture. Yeah, Vulture and Thanos. <laughs> yeah. And Loki. I, I, okay, yeah, Loki on and off again. <laughs> like, a, a little bit of Kurt Russell from uh, Guardians 2. Uh, but again, yeah. but even Kurt Russell, it, again, they have the same thing where it's like, well, isn't oh, it obvious this has to be done I, in order to achieve peace? I, and Thanos, did, I did love the main villain from um, Guardians, the, the Kree warrior that's the, doing the dance of, what are you doing? Well, that, like, but... But but that's he, stupid. He's just like, so he's, bad. Yeah, he's, he's so like, bad. Yeah. He's awesome. Um, but, uh, but but no. But you know what I mean. Where it's still that same thing. Where well, I have to obviously do this thing, which is obviously bad, mm -hmm. but will lead to world peace somehow. And to, you know, it's still kind of that thing. But I don't. He's the only one I watch, and I'm just like I. I, be I believe you've been around for years and years and years, and you're like, no, this is what you really feel you have to do, and every reaction on his face just projects that just no there's there's really no other alternative and he's not he's not even trying to convince anybody that's the thing with no all he's the other not ones. why he's can't just, you see why can't he's just well no i i don't care i think gamora i think gamora he's trying to convince a little but everybody else is just like no i'm just i'm doing this because it's right the end I don't even know if he is for Gamora. Gamora's just like, nah, you know, like he, the fact that he's talking to her at all, I think, again, he sees as like mercy, you know, because of what, all they've been through together and stuff like that. But he's I just don't know, like... Their relationship, that was, that may be the strongest thing in this movie is her, <clears throat> is her and Thanos. Yeah. Because I'm like, that was a weird, twisted, like, relationship that they, I'm like, that was, I thought for me personally, like on a character level, was the most interesting thing in it because everything else was mostly just plot point based uh, yeah. do this do that punch this guy punch that guy yeah come up with a plan but that that was the only thing that as the core of the film it's it's star lord and his father basically from guardians 2 like it's like that is the center of the film somehow is thanos yeah. and gamora and i thought that really really worked and, and i like that every single time he gets one of these infinity stones i like any movie that gets me to say oh no I love any yeah. movie that does that, because there's not many movies that get me to do that anymore. And this is a movie where it's like, I can kind of, we can kind of predict what's going to happen. I mean, honestly, like, you know, not uh, a ton of head, but no, I don't know. I <laughs> have read the comic. There's some things they did that I'm like, I don't think I could have predicted that was No, no, happen. no, but I mean, like, okay, like, they're building up, will this, like, will okay, he get gotcha. the stones? Like, from a marketing standpoint, yeah. we know what has to happen. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like, still when it happens, I like that movie kind of sucks me in so much, I kind of forget. I also like that there, again, your time of the last third takes place mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, Wakanda. I, it, to me, like, this, this is the climax I wanted in Black Panther. This is the big, yeah. grand uh, well, thing. Well, that's the weird thing. I say the last third takes place in Wakanda, but it's chunks of the last third because then you're also cross-cutting across the galaxy yeah. to Titan and then... I forget the name of the... the, the this is probably the first Avengers movie where not smithing, all the Avengers uh, are together. There's yeah. no point where they're all together. Um, well, and I think... But I like that. I think that's a good move because I think that's what we're going to want to see in the sequel. Yes. That and when they finally do to get that, together, yeah. it's going to be like, whoa! It's going to be um, a huge, huge thing. It's going to be like that picture over there. Yeah. <laughs> and it's gonna, and I, that's another thing I liked was like, what I do remember about the uh, Infinity War saga just as a whole is battles in space. Mm. And I like that part of this movie. There's like, definitely whenever, space shit yeah. going on. Like when but... Th like Thanos just like freaking brings a moon down 
you know, I'm just like, that's what I remember from the comics. It's like, here, have a moon, thunk, like that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I think, like, the only, the only nitpicky problems I have with this movie, and they really are nitpicky, um, is that every, every time I see these Marvel movies where all these characters get together, particularly, like, Doctor Strange and Thanos and stuff like that, I'm always like, wait, aren't there, like, 20 different things they can do here that they're not doing? <laughs> so other people can if I'm If I'm getting stuff, nitpicky, but... I definitely think one of the problems I had was just the characters all make the same stupid choice. The, the, which, there's one there's which one is that, like thematically maybe it's like uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like I'll I'll be vague about but like well love really love 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 and this and that but they all like when it's they're it's being insisted upon like no, screw love. We need to save the galaxy. They're like they, they all make the same dumb choice, and there's a I, couple of them that I'm like, mm, I don't think they would do that. I, I kind of disagree. And the, 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 the again, no, we'll, have, we'll have to one, go into spoiler corner. We we'll have to go, into, but the, the one near the end is the one. Now you want to know what's so funny? Because that's the first, one, and I'm like, I'll buy that. No, no, at not first, that character. No, no, no. At first, I thought the same thing, but then mm. when he says his line. Uh, and again, we got going the spoiler corner. It it won me over. Well, it may, it may talk, imply there's more than meets the eye. It, it there, kind like. of yeah. So and well, I'm we'll like, talk about okay. spoiler corner. Yeah. I, I was um, actually impressed how many characters did make the choice. Uh, you know, it doesn't yeah. always work out that way. But how many were just like, look, if this happens, if, if A happens, you have to do B. And I was impressed how many characters did do B. Yeah. Uh, that no, they did. Really but there's that away. one in that we'll talk about spoiler. That one in particular, yeah. I'm like, what? Yeah, like, well, but, but we'll get to that, because um, I, I had the same then, reaction. I, I do think it is a long movie, and it is kind of deliberately play, deliberately placed, deliberately paced at parts. Um, somewhere in the middle, and sometimes in the last third, I was just kind of like, yeah, I'm squirming a bit. Like, But it, there really wasn't much that I was just like, oh my god, I'm so bored. Like, it, get me out of this theater. Like... <laughs> And there are, for us, there are a lot of applause points, too. Yeah, the only... We have, like, four or five, I think. Um, a lot of gasps, too. <gasps> yeah, you know, which, which, again, I, I love when that happens in a movie. Which I think, because we had somebody else who went, I think, to a critic screening, and was like, oh, they were all just so bored, and just, and I'm just like, I'll tell you, I think there's a difference sometimes between, like, an audience reaction who are fans of something and critics, because I'm just like... Man, the screening I saw, they were all yeah. really into it. Um, but uh, the only part I can think of where I was I was legit like, okay, can, can we just wrap this part up, is uh, there's a scene where Thor is making a new hammer, and I felt like, okay, that could have been cut in half. Axe? It was an axe? Uh, you know, I wanted to save that, you know, for a spoiler corner, but you know what, there's so many other spoilers anyway. Um, so, yeah, I, that's the only scene where I felt, because I was like, no, 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 now you have to hold on to the ship. No, now you have to be projected into the star. No, no, now you, yeah, we have to get the axe to him. No, now we need a handle for the axe. And I'm like, this really it's long. I, like, yeah, I don't think it's a perfect movie, and I, I, it cut did down. feel long. But um, everything else, but I was like, stuff, I, yeah. everything else I was pretty entertained by. Uh, and maybe on a second viewing, I would be more bored by it. But like the first time around, I was like, I was really impressed how much I was like, no, I'm concerned about that character. It, no, I want the relationship to work. No, I don't want this to happen to this character. Of Guardians, and mm -hmm. I think that's why I like it. And I think that's why I would go back and and own it on Blu-ray and watch it again. Whereas, it, it remind me of Guardians too. Whereas Avengers, like an Age of Ultron, I'm just like. Yeah, I really don't watch it hardly ever. Like, and I'm not saying they're bad movies. I'm like, that's perfectly fine. But it's, I don't go back to it. But Guardians one and two, I go back to all the time. And this is one that I might go back to because I'm just like, I like this universe and the fact that it has the Guardians in it, I uh, think helps. <coughs> um, they, they, they play a very big part. And they, I like that they split them up too. Uh, the, the Guardians and have. I thought that was very smart, and to have them interact with different characters and stuff. Uh, there's a. In my opinion, very clever usage of Peter Dinklage in this movie. Oh, yeah. Um, and the minute I saw him, too, I'm like, that's Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Which I, I feel a little bad because I was saying that it, Peter Dinklage is an amazing actor. Like, he, he's one of my oh, yeah. top faves. I do feel bad I that drink when... I and I know things. It, it, I do feel a little bad that whenever there's a par for a dwarf, it's like, it always goes to him. Yeah, but... I do kind of feel bad that... But they, here like, it's... Out, but... Here it's totally amazing, though, because... No, he's always... Totally yeah. amazing. I've never seen a bad performance from that dude. Well, Pixels was kind of bad. But he's still really, really amazing. Uh, and I just... Because it's, it's both goes 
for and against type when you think about it. Yeah, like, no, I just that's what I thought was kind clever. of cool about it. Well, um, and even even if you took someone that was not Peter Dinklage, just this idea, I think is clever because it's like mm. again, without giving away too much, you know, they say we have to go visit the dwarves, and there's like only one dwarf left. And when you see him, I'm thinking because you always know, think one of two things when you hear dwarf, you hear Lord of the Rings, you know, these giant, giant but little people, and then you think of you know someone like Peter Dinklage, you know, a smaller person. Uh, but with this one, when you see him, it's like, oh, I haven't seen that done before. And that 100% makes sense. I love that. <laughs> I think that's something else I want to comment on. As somebody who's had a, a hit and miss relationship with the Thor films, um, it I'm really, like, completely on board with Thor. Like, I'm just rooting for my... I always love my, Thor. I always I, love him. And he's probably my favorite. I, in the first, like, and I... It's, <laughs> I think my wife put it best. It's like, well, once you just dropped Natalie Portman from them, they all yeah. got pretty good. And I'm like, yeah, like maybe that was the problem. I don't know, but it's just he, like he has been good from the first one till now. He, he I don't. Has it's not that I think wonderful. he's been bad. I just there's something about it that came off as bland. And I feel like between Thor three and now this, I'm just like, man, I just I want more Thor. Just give me as much, give me as much Thor as I can handle. That's I can too. take because he just like. And I think part of it may be because, like, his character's gone through so much. It's another thing, like, that conversation they're having. He's having with ra uh, Rocket. Rabbit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Rabbit. <laughs> with, uh, with Rabbit. No, with uh, Rocket. He's just, like, about how much he's lost and stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm, like, just really on board with this guy. I want to see him, like, kick some ass. It's the first time we see him, like... Like, he's always kind of, I mean, he's very dignified, but he's very goofy. I mean, he's still it's a very... It's the first thing. You know what it is? He, he's very civilized, but he's a very silly character still. It's the first time and I've seen him where I've taken him seriously. Yeah, like, he's legit it. badass, pissed off, like, I'm gonna make people goddamn yeah. pay. And and you buy it. You totally buy it. Uh, you know, it isn't him just swinging the hammer around. It's like Aww. taking a character like Mr. Peanut Butter from BoJack Horseman and then just, like... Killing everyone around him, and now he's out for revenge. And it's just like, wow, I didn't think this yeah. guy. Could, you know, <laughs> and you somehow um, really buy it. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's like I just that was I think the biggest character shift. I think Van and Thanos are the two biggest character shifts where I'm just like, wow, I'm really on board with like both these two. Like in this film, like I want more of them. Like uh, the one whose powers I think got more impressive. The uh, Scarlet Witch is that her name? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought her powers like because before it's like. Okay, and she's cool. She, she's fine. She moves some stuff around. Cool, mm -hmm. whatever. In this one, like, the shit she's doing, I was just like, damn! <laughs> like, and, I didn't know she could do that. <laughs> the Spider-Man suit also, at first I thought I wasn't going to like, but it does some goddamn cool things. No. I, it was it was fun to see Parker back. Um, well, and, okay, something else. We talk about how we, we're sick of Spider-Boy. We are just sick to death of it. But I yeah, realized... But no, here yeah. it is needed. When you see him with everybody, I'm like, damn it, he does have a very unique idea identity because everyone else has grown up and he's like the only kid you know he, he's like the robin to the group and so it's like that does yeah. add a different point of well, view and a different dynamic and that is the problem is that wasn't the case in the comics because i mean in the comics we're talking about that was like early 90s we're we're, we're grown up peter parker post-college mm -hmm. um yeah which is spider-man i remember and the spider-man i really like and yeah, I mean, so a me part too, of me like... I, I, at first i was just when, when he showed up i'm like oh cool but a part of me is like Oh, God, we got Spider-Boy now in the Infinity War. Like, And you nailed it. Like, It's because, unlike the comic, there's no other youthful characters. So he's like a breath of fresh air. And I'm like, damn it, yeah, he works. And it's, it's a wise call. The connection he has with Stark. I mean, it is yeah. wonderful and really well done. Uh, I said this is great. I was like... What is he like? Your ward? Because <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, it's getting that creepy kind of Batman Robin level, like old school, but, like. But it, but but, but it's, then especially it's funny, when, you feel, it when you see how it just keeps building and building, yeah. kind of, you could argue what it builds up to. Uh, it it's really believable and it's really solid. And that that the scene at the end that could have been so awkward and gimmicky, and I just felt it 100 percent worked. Uh, the, no, it. It did, and man, that could have completely just fallen yeah. flat. Um, I feel like there's a lot of scenes in this movie that we'll could have to have talk just, about that in spoiler corner. Yeah, that that could have just totally fell apart, and surprisingly, were because I think you yeah, nailed it. They're yeah. just all the movies they've established them. They've given them. There so was many no movies scene for me that just fell apart or felt completely flat because your mind fills in the blanks with everything you've seen before for the past ten years. Yeah, they're so well established. Um, 
And that's what I want <laughs> from other franchises, and it always seems to be a problem. Maybe, maybe the other ones just shouldn't even bother trying. Like, maybe it's just like, you know what, this is lightning struck once. It's not going to repeat itself. Just let them do it with this thing. But mm. it, it's... I look back and I'm like, 10 years of this, I'm just like, whether you love them or hate them, I know there are some critics out there who's like, I don't like them, everything's comic book movies, and there's like, and I, DC I fans it. like, ah, it's all good. It's like, what they freaking accomplished though, like, it's kind of changed the face of film in some ways, at least to the impact it's had in, in a genre of movie making, that's something like Star Wars did. Because comic, book, thinking, comic is... book movies to this degree, like... Uh, yeah, we had Tim Burton's Batman. Yeah, we have Richard Donner's Superbad. They were like big hits, and then they always fizzled out. And this is just still just Getting a bigger and bigger. money making juggernaut well, and that's affected the whole industry now. Like it's all this, whether love it or hate it. Like, and even if you hate it, you gotta respect them. Like, well, they changed the freaking landscape. Yeah, the franchises I can think of that are re that have really kind of changed film, like in the past. I don't even know, 30, 40 years. You know, it was Star Wars. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, Sci-fi, fantasy, and then I, I, these I, comic book movies. Well, well I, I was going to say, I mean, like, even though I'm not, I don't get into them, but Harry Potter has too. I, I mean, that is worth noting. And, and and these Marvel films. I mean, I think these are films that just, these have not yeah. really been done. Well, Potter and, and Lord of the Rings, I feel, they were released pretty much simultaneously, so you could count either one. Um, yeah, I, I mean, they're... But, yeah, but I won't just count because... Potter. When I say Lord of the Rings, <laughs> I'm literally implying Potter with it. Like, they mm -hmm. were both out there at the same time. Yeah, but I mean, the idea... How many movies was that again? Like, eight movies, and they had oh, to come yeah. out every year and give them to... I mean, that's that's a feat. That's an impressive feat, and every one, you know, was a big hit. Um, so, yeah, I think those films, uh, kind of all together... Uh, yeah, have really changed sort of like in terms of like really big blockbuster filmmaking mm -hmm. and entertainment. Uh, and yeah, as much as I get it, I get how people are like, I'm sick of comic book movies. I'm sick of them. You're still gonna go see it. I can't. Yeah. I keep saying it that I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm getting kind of sick of it. But then and, I'm just but like, I go see it. Yeah, and I'm just like, yeah, that was a fun waste of time. I, I think this was better than just a fun waste of time. Yeah, um, I, I agree. This was one of the better ones. I don't know if it's in my top five, but considering how many Marvel films there are, it doesn't need to be. Mm -hmm. um, this, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you could be in the top ten and stuff. This would be my, my top ten, like, easily. Like I'll say this. If, if Thanos was not done well, uh, I, I don't know if it'd be in my top five. Uh, he really, again, the Josh no, Brolin, the technology, I he, will totally tip my hat to the he technology. And I think he and Gamora kind of save... The movie from just being a, an action uh, another, punch fest. Yeah, um, um, I, and, and there are heavy scenes. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's still yeah, like, but they're but they're they're like the movie, weird but... core of the film. Where I'm yeah. just like, that's what I'm gonna because when all the 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 punching and stuff is done, and even some of the other heavy scenes. Like when I think about this movie, I'm gonna be thinking of those two. That's what I'm gonna remember as the images in my head is gonna be mostly around those two. I'm gonna remember weight to this movie and it yeah. does come from I did yeah it really is both of them to me me a little bit more Thanos uh but but yeah I mean she because again with Gamora I mean like the other like the first movie I saw her, I'm like oh, okay she's kind of just the straight no fun whatever then the second one she got a little bit more interesting I'm like okay good thing with the sister and then this one I'm just like I I'm suddenly really interested in you like you well, became a really interesting again, character and it is the because connection because unlike other franchises, you know, it's like, oh, well, she's the no fun one in Guardians. But what did we learn? That she was working for Thanos. That she betrays Thanos. Yeah. We see her it builds do up these to things. Mm. You know, and even if her part wasn't as huge in the second one, you know, it still was bringing out a little more of her character. But because we saw her do all those things, when you get to this point here, you don't need mountains of exposition. No. With Gamora's character. It's like, and, and that is the trouble. It's just like, if you haven't been following these movies, you'd be totally yeah, lost. Like... But the hell is everybody this? Has. But, yeah, everybody. Has. Um, yeah, and I figure if you ha if you haven't, why are you here watching it, this? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> um, it's so. I, I want to check out this thing called movies. I think I will start with Infinity War. Well, I didn't understand that at all. Movies suck. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I think that's why, and I think that's why Gamora really works in this movie. Um, I think it, it's the two feet. You can't have Thanos without Gamora, and vice versa in this film. And I think I like that about this movie a lot. Yeah. Um, 
So there it is. We'll, we'll, we'll explain more in uh, Spoiler Corner, but uh, we really liked it, man. And uh, I I think that, I mean, everyone knows it's going to be a hit, but... Uh, it was fun. I, I don't... What do you think? You think it'll outdo... You think it'll be bigger than Black Panther? You think it'll go longer? Uh, Black Panther was pretty damn impressive. I don't... I, 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 don't, I don't... Yeah. That's tough I, to say, because that, that feel, was like a monster uh, movie. That, that went for, like, months, man. Black Panther has a few more things going for it. Um... Including just some things like, I think it was shorter, and, um... I don't remember. Well, okay, compared to this, you're probably right. But it, it, There it's, also weren't as many it's blockbuster a strict, films it, It's more out, of, like, the... How do I put it? Like, the Lion King narrative of, like... It, it's, it's more of a... Self-contained. Self-contained narrative. Like, this one... It's like, you really kind of have to be a devoted fan. Like, I feel like Black Panther drew more people in... Because they were seeing a self-contained movie, whereas this one is just like, you better have seen all these damn Marvel movies. Yeah, like, and I think true. that'll keep some people away. And I think the length, I think it'll do well though. Um, oh yeah, I, I can't see this not doing well. I th I think this will do. I haven't checked the Rotten Tomatoes score, but I feel like I think it was it was like in the eight upper. 80s. I was gonna say that sounds about right to me. I was like, I feel like there's a few that are not gonna like it, but I was just like, I feel like this would be an overall well received film. So. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I been watching the Marvel movies, but check it out. I think it's pretty big, pretty epic, and uh, Thanos, like I said, I mean, surprisingly was really cool, it, and uh, I'm it glad put a they smile made on cool. my face. It's another one yeah. of those films like when they were all like. It's like Spider-Man and Iron Man and Doctor Strange fighting aliens. And it's like your favorite characters like working together. It's like, I got that stupid little giddy smile on my face again. And it's like, <laughs> it's just like I'm a kid again. Like, it's, it's something, fun. I don't know, growing up. Like, I really was enjoying it. <laughs> like, I mean, and, and you read more of these than me. But I mean, growing up, like reading these comics, you always kind of imagine this stuff on the big screen. But you don't yeah. think you're going to see it. And yeah, it's different. And it's cool. But it's like, the, yeah. right, the, the fact that we're even this and it's close cool at all. And in the, the comics, scale. just when they do the crossovers, you get that sort of like, wow, that's awesome. It would be cool to see like the X-Men and the Avengers fighting together to save the mm -hmm. galaxy and like all these sort of things. And then it's like, now when you're 38 and you finally see it on the big screen, there is just something weird. Just like, wow, I, I didn't really ever think in 1993 that like this was going to happen. Yeah. And, and, and uh, that it says, you know, as much money is being put into it, it's as big a hit and they're still going. And uh, I don't know, it, it, you might've hit something there. Like this might be like just the one long, long stretch of time where this happens and marvel might be the only one you know that actually achieves it i mean maybe in the future something else will come and sort of keep going and get bigger and bigger but yeah i feel like this might be kind of like that but lightning and i bottle. like movies that give me that nostalgic feeling of being like a kid again and you mm -hmm. know um it did that and that's impressive not a lot of films really do that so. i also like films that kids can see but and be traumatized by it because i know it's like the same oh, thing we'll, we'll, oh we'll, we'll, we'll get yeah. to that in spoilers we'll get to that in spoilers but, <laughs> yeah, uh, but this if, is if, if you bring in little kids they gonna cry there's they a, gonna they're there's gonna some, be there's oh. some real there's some real <laughs> empire strikes back shit going on yeah. in this movie <laughs> uh yeah so it's yeah no i was I was definitely thinking, well, there weren't a ton of kids in our, because it's opening no, night. Um, but I, I'd be, be hilarious to see, like, the weekend showings and just, like, you know. Even when the movie was done, like, the audience was like. <laughs> <laughs> like, they didn't know whether or not to applaud. They there were just were, like, were, oh, man. <laughs> oh, no, there were a couple moments where, like, literally just everyone went. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Again, love, love it when a movie can do um, that. So, yeah, that, that's our thoughts, man. Go check it out. 